Hey everybody, Lee with LG Speed and Custom here, and in this video I am going to show you how to clean up the end of your F100 box with these little F100 box end plates. So this is a 53 to 72 Ford F100 pickup box. It is, it's been shortened a little bit because it's being used on this 1933 Ford pickup rather than a 53 to 72 pickup. But what we're doing today still applies to the regular F100 box. So this is probably what yours looks like right now. This is the way that Ford stamped him. It's just a roll like this with a big open end. And what we're going to do is clean that up and cap it off with this little teardrop shape. So obviously the tailgate end is already done. And yes, I know that's not an F100 tailgate. That's a 37 Ford tailgate. But like I said, this is a custom application. That won't affect what you're doing though. So we're going to do this end right now. What we're using is I've got these little end cap plates. I make these here in house. I make them on my uh, CNC plasma table here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I install these. To make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna pull this front panel off because it's only got a couple little bolts holding it in. If you were just gonna do this on the back of your pickup, you don't need to do this. You can just simply open the tailgate, which makes it a little bit easier. But for doing the front here, I think it would be easier to pull it off. So we'll bust these bolts out and get this piece right out of here. With that panel pulled out, you can see how this basically looks like how that end would look when the tailgate is open. So if we take our little plate here, you can see it just perfectly fits the contour of this. Our next step is we'll grab a DA sander and clean the paint off of here. This is just some 80 grit on a little six inch orbital. And we just want, we just want to knock the paint off, that's it. With this all sanded down, we're ready to fit these guys now. I also cleaned them up a little bit with the sander just to get some of the, the mill scale off of them. So when we fit these, there's a couple ways you can do it. Some people like to use magnets. I'm personally not really a fan of magnets for little pieces like this because the, the magnet kind of messes with the weld a little bit. I don't know if you've ever noticed that when you set something up with a magnet and go to tack it, the weld gets all funny. So I'm just gonna use simple old fashioned masking tape. Cause I mean, we just need to hold it long enough to get a couple tacks on there. So like I said, these fit really flush and they're, they're a little bit heavier than the box itself. This is made out of 16 gauge. I make these out of 12 gauge. So they're a little bit thicker and that way you can kind of work with it a little bit. You can finesse it and grind it to fit a little bit better. So I think I am really happy with that. We'll pull the welder over here and give it a couple tacks, take the tape off, and then we can weld this up. I'm gonna TIG weld these in place, but if you don't have a TIG welder, that's not a big deal. You can certainly MIG weld these, or if you don't even have a MIG welder, you can, you can oxyacetylene weld them. Whatever form of welding you're most comfortable with will be totally fine with this. Especially, like I said, with them being made out of 12 gauge, they're a little bit thicker. So if you're not a pro sheet metal welder, you'll do fine. You got lots of material to, to work with there. So we'll go ahead and put a tack down here, put a tack up here, and then pull our tape away. Of 
cool. Got a little bit warm on that piece of tape. <laughs> It'll be fine though. Okay, with that tacked in place, probably put another tack down here and then I think we can go ahead and fully weld it up. So with this all welded up now, we can go ahead and start grinding it smooth. Uh, I wasn't super concerned with making super pretty stack of dime welds. I was more concerned about getting fill on here. Fill and penetration because we want to grind this flush and grind this flush and have no evidence that we ever welded in there. So to do that, you want to make sure you've got you know good build on there. Uh, and if we do have a couple spots when we, we grind it out that need to be touched up, that's no big deal. To grind this, I'm just using, I'm going to start with a 36 grit disc on a little 90 degree grinder and focus, like I said, on making it flush. You want to make sure that you don't dig grooves in or anything. Keep it nice and flush while you're grinding. <laughs> So we've just finished grinding the first pass and as you can see we still have a couple little spots here that we got to come back and touch up. Not a huge deal at all. We'll just bring the welder back over and burn a little filler rod in there and then hit it again with our second pass. Our second pass cleaned up all the little imperfections in there. It's nice and nice and happy now. So I've taken the 36 grit off and put some 80 grit on and we're just gonna kind of dress it with 80 grit to get some of the heavy scratches out. Then we'll hit this edge with a file, finish it off with the DA. Just gonna use this file to put a little bit of radius on this edge here. Right now it is comes to a very crisp point and that's not what we want. We're almost done. We're just going to take our sander again with a fresh piece of 80 grit and just give it a final dressing, try to get some of the, the grinding marks out, turn them into DA marks, and we'll just blend this radius in, make it all nice and uniform and factory looking. Well, there you have it. That worked out very nicely. I welded up this side as well. So we're ready to put this panel in now. So if you need a set of these, they're available on my website, lgspeedcustom.com. They are $35 Canadian, which is $26 American at this particular time. Uh, so yeah, 26 bucks American for a pair. I sell them as a pair. If you wanna do the front and back, get two pairs. And yeah, that's how you put them in. So I think they're really nice to clean up this edge and just give it kind of like a polished, little custom touch. It's the little details like this that add up that really make custom vehicles go pop. So, all right, let's put this panel in and take a look at the finished product.
There we go, that's a wrap on that. That polished that off pretty nicely. It just, it all flows and just, it works together. It makes it look all finished and complete. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Uh, like I said, if you want a set of these, stop by the website, lgspeedcustom.com, or if you just want to support the channel and support the shop, grab yourself a t-shirt or some stickers. Always happy to send those out as well. So thanks to the Cavaleros for the music on this video, and we'll see you on the next video. See you later.